Hi guys, Chris Davis here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to tie a simple Y hang. Simple Y hang is one of the key competency skills required of any rope access technician, and certainly on the level one syllabus. So to start with, pick up my rope and identify the middle of the rope. And I'm just going to tie an alpine butterfly here to identify the middle of that rope. It could indeed be an overhand knot, or it could just be a little bit of tape to indicate where the, the center is. So tie your alpine butterfly. So now I've got my alpine butterfly indicating the middle of the rope. I'm going to tie two knots either side. In this case, I'm going to do a figure of eight and a bite. It could indeed be a figure of nine on a bite as well. With the tail on the left, drop the bite to the right, around to the left, around to the right, and through the back, which is going to create my figure of eight on a bite. Duplicate that on the other side of the knot. Tail on the left, drop the bite to the right, move around to the left, around to the right and back through the hole again, identical to the first knot you've just tied, pulling the sl slack through. So now we've got two figure of eights tied or figure eight and a bites and the alpine butter butterfly is going to be bang in the middle. We attach that to our first anchor point. And all we do now is pre-tension these ropes just so it's ready for when we start to abseil on it. So now we've done one side of the Y hang, we need to do the other side with an alpine butterfly. First of all, we identify where we want our knot, pull the bite just past the anchor point, and we do two twists, which creates our but, uh, alpine butterfly. Hold the second twist, reach around the back, grab hold of the bite, pass it through the middle hole, pull the slack through, attach it to the anchor point. Do that again, the second one. Just go past the anchor point, do two twists. First twist, second twist, hold the second twist, reach around the back, Hold the bite and put it through the middle hole again. Pull the slack through so it's nice and snug. Attach to the anchor point and do the gate up. This angle that we're looking at is between 60 and 90 degrees. We call the 90 degree angle our optimum angle. The optimum angle at 90 degrees gives us, with 100 kilos of a load here, gives us approximately 71 kilos either side or 71% either side the optimum angle 90 degrees.